Hailstorm with Do Not Disturb. This is drop detuning and it's a CVT guitar lesson for Graham. Really cool tune. So, play a little bit of this first section here. <laughs> Let's jump in. It starts with an octave. By the way, this is a different video recorder, so uh, I'm not sure how it's going to come out. I'm kind of running a test on this uh, video. So 5A, 7G, we're muting the D, and you're going to strum those three strings, A, D, and G. Now it's a little tricky in the sense that you're going to strum it, let it ring a second, and then half step, bend, release, bend. Hit a open E string. Once you get the feel of that, you're going to do it six times. But don't instantly bend. Wait a second, you know, so it's like. All right, and then uh, so after the sixth time, you'll go 3A, 5D, that's a C power chord, sliding to 5 7. And then palm mute the top string open twice and then hit the D power chord for 5A, 7D. Repeat it. But the last chord is 5A, 8D. So you have. And then the next guitar part comes in at 31 seconds in. This is section 1B. That's all palm muted. Most of it's on the B string. Six five six eight six five six and then seven G sounds like this. It goes twice through. Okay, then uh, the first four first three notes are the same, and then five E, and then six five six on the B, and then seven G. So the next one starts the same way up to 5 E, then we go 7 G, then 5 6 8 on the B. So that one is. Then this next one is the same as the first one, played twice. The last one, 6 5 6, 5 E, 7 G, 6 5 6 on the B. So it's a little turnaround on the end. Oops. And that's how that ends. 45 seconds in, section 1C, that's the chorus, 5A, 7D, so it's a D power chord. I'm going to touch string 6 to mute it in case I hit it with the pick, which I will. And here we go down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. That's the strum pattern for three of these chords. Same thing over first and third fret. Bar uh, fifth fret, all the strings, 7G and 8B, same strum. So you have. Then it does this. goes 3 5 AD slide to 5 7 palm mute the E twice and then C to D on the power chords and then hit it again do that twice okay so um, or, all right and then um, you repeat everything second time don't do the double dots on this just play one time of and then finish it at 1 minute 15 seconds with so it plays it up to the palm mutes and goes 8 10 AD 7 9 and 5 7 so all right and then repeats at a minute 35 at 227 you'll hear a quick little fill on the guitar bar the 12th fret on the G and B and hit it again and then go to the 10th fret so it's 12 pull 10 G 
and then 12G. So the guitar solo comes in at 235, and it's 13B bend vibrato rest, 10E upstroke, 13 full 10B, 12G. It's a great subgroup. 10, 12, B, pull 10. So you have 13, G, 10, B. And make sure you follow the pick directions. 13, pull 12, hammer 13 on the G. 12, pull 10. 12, D, 10, G. So you have 10, 12, G, slide 13. Slide 12, pull 10. 12 D, 10, 12, 14 G. But you're gonna bend it a step and a half. That's a three fret bend. Hold, release, then go 14, 13, 12, and then 10. He does a, like a, I call it the George Lynch vibrato or we, Warren Demartini. He does a quick 10, 11, 10, 11, 10, 11, quick slides. Um, I lost my spot. Hold on here. Yeah. 12 GB slide. 243 timestamp. 17 E slide. And then we're going to go 15 high E. Two bends. 15, 13, 15, 13. Half bend. Rest. 15 B. So. And 246 timestamp, 10B, and it's just a quick trill three times to the 13th fret. Same thing with 912. Same thing with 810. And the same thing with 68, but add an extra six on it. So you have. And then eight, slide nine, slide eight on the B. Pull off the six. It's really cool. 7G, 86B, half bend. So, 7 pull 5G, and then 7. So, oops. And there you have it. 252 timestamp, you have a repeat of section 1C two times without the minute 15 uh, section of that. All right, Graham. Thanks a lot, man.